Hey, what's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. Today we got a fun one for you. We're gonna be steelhead fishing, we're gonna be coho fishing, we got a couple special guests, but before we get this thing started, I just wanted to say how thankful we are for you guys and gals. Every single one of you guys that tune in every single week, watch our episodes, thumbs up the videos, drop comments, all that continues to help us grow and we appreciate every single one of you. So if there's one thing I could say I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving holiday that we just had, it's all you fans and followers out there. Thanks for watching our content, we appreciate you. And with that being said, we're gonna give you guys a little exclusive. You guys tune into our Addicted Lifes every single Sunday, and so we're gonna give you first go at 75 packs of limited edition worms. As you guys know, we've been promoting it in the videos. Tomorrow, November 30th at 6.30 p.m., we have our winter drop coming. All sorts of limited edition items, sweatshirts, hats, some stocking stuffers, a bunch of cool stuff, but with that, there's some custom tackle. And we designed a few new worm colors that we know you guys are gonna love. They're worms that we've been fishing for a long time but they're gonna sell out quick. So I wanted to give you guys first go at them. So we have 75 packs of each color available on the website right now for all you Addicted Life fans. Get over there, get them, and then come back over here and watch this episode. It's a banger. Drop a comment below. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys on the river. Episode coming up next. What's up everybody out there? Welcome back to a chilly edition of Addicted Life. Today we're out here in some different country. Yeah. We, we yeah. headed east today. With some different fish. people. Yeah, right. with some different people. Our great friends here from Procure, Jason Hamley, and his good buddy. Introduce yourself. Nick. Nick. This is Nick, everybody. He's been all around. He's a great buddy of all of ours. We're out here today chasing steelhead in a pretty unique way. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah, we're doing something a little different. We're running up. Uh, we're actually trolling bobbers, if that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> I'm so intrigued at this point. <laughs> but running half ounce floats and uh, 3 8 ounce lead, and then a split shot halfway down. And basically, is all we do is we run it out to about 11 and a half to 12 feet or so, and and then run the lines back quite quite a distance. And, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll kick it into gear and then start coasting. Then you take it out of gear, and then you just work your way down. Interesting. Well, you guys are gonna to have to stick around to see exactly how this works. And if you haven't already heard, November 30th, we're doing a limited edition apparel drop on our site, addicted.fishing. It's the Stay Fishy edition. So be on the lookout for that. A lot of cool apparel coming out. And stay tuned today. There's gonna to be some steelhead to catch. What's the secret sauce? Uh, <laughs> actually, it's got a lot of garlic oil and a lot of shrimp prawn oil. It's in the Ziploc bag, so you know it's good. <laughs> Look at these little daddies. That's a cool color. They actually smell good. They, uh, no, not for eating a cinnamon roll. You take a big whiff of these, you're like, oh, that's not, they don't mix. They don't mix. So we're taking two number four hooks here. Got a little choker method going here. One. There's a barb on there and it's not. Right it's through not. just the back side of the head, through the tail. <laughs> just like that. Chomp chomp. Jason told me about this on the phone about the uh, whole troll and barbers thing. I was kind of like, okay, I got to go see this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like my first time I've been in someone else's boat in like a year. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so first spot was a very nice scenic boat ride. Saw a bald eagle, saw some ducks, some geese. We talked about a lot of good things. Talked some really cool stuff. Talked about. You know, talked about how we all woke up this morning dreaming. We were dreaming last night about catching steelhead. Have not caught steelhead. You know, just to let you guys know, I'm just being a jerk. Jason's an insanely good fisherman, and I know, I know we're catching fish, because I know this guy, so stay well, tuned. We Came up with a game plan. We've worked our way. We kind of expended all of our options as far as holes. A little slow this morning, but it's getting warmer by the minute. So we're gonna fish our way back down river. And luckily, being that we're in the northwest, we got options. So we're gonna hop back down, load the boat up, and we're gonna go to a different river and try to go for some coho, maybe even a couple steelhead. It's anybody's guess as to what we're gonna find the rest of the day. But I'm gonna keep my hopes up. And we're gonna keep fishing. All 
right, made it to our second destination. We're rigging up our twitching rods. We're rigging up our wiggler rods. We're gonna head up river. Hopefully there's a lot of fish around. Reports have been good. So again, made a game time decision, loaded up the boat, and we hauled ass to the next place we could. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Comment below. Looking hatchery coho there. Sweet. Hey, little guy. I'm freezing, you guys. This is what you get. You get some nice, cool colored coho this time of year and some chilly hands. Right on. Ooh, four. 9.9. Getting them. Roller. Oh, one roll way up there, too. They're everywhere. I don't know what's going on right now. He's <laughs> freaking me out. I think he's just seeing rollers, no, but. That's a good one, too. That's a really nice one. Domination. <laughs> That's a pretty coat. He's all wrapped. Look, 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 look at those toe depth there. Well, yeah, this is baby got it. Look at how nice that fish is. That is so cool. <laughs> so where we're fishing today, you guys, is a long ways from the ocean. We're above a dam. Um, and so it's, you know, you'll hear us comment on the color of these fish all day. These things have been in the river for a while and they've come a long way. So it's great to see. And it's like Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Really late. Look at that beautiful coho. There you have it, everybody. Awesome, awesome, great way to start the day. But it just goes to show you a little bit of persistence, a little bit of a changed game plan, different river. And now we're having some, we found some, some fish. fish. Oh yeah, get her bled. That's the right left. In the box she goes. Oh, open, That's in the box. It's all fogged up. <laughs> oh, dang it. Boy, good fish. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how thick that thing's shoulders is. Not a bad fish. Which one, Cameron? Just that. Color. That'll work, huh? Yeah, man. Two hens. Yeah. Two pretty little ladies in the boat. Stuff. Oh, that's a dime, dude. That is, that's a dime. Oh, Woo. that's a pretty one. He is a dime. Bright fish. Bright fish. Blinger. Tagging bag. Get up. Get to work. This is why you fish with friends, you guys. Emergency situations. That's why you keep your pliers on your hip too. There you go. I like voluntarily did that. I stuck it right <laughs> in my armpit and it's like, Hoo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a ball. You guys have both shot again. Nice. Isn't it cheap? Ooh, dude. <laughs> yeah! It's a monster! Oh, oh, there he goes, there he goes. He's going under the boat. Look at this thing. That thing, you can't see the wiggler, guys. Look at that. That thing's a dime, dude. 
Oh, we'll just do that. Oh, oh my God. God. Look at that. Brad's wiggling. Look at that. You don't even see it. <laughs> just an eyeball. <laughs> I think those work, eh? Think she wanted that one? How, how'd you miss this one? <laughs> Wait, you <it> didn't. <laughs> Trying to hold her. There you go. Got it. Woohoo! Nice. Nice fish, Jordan. Rod tip up now, sir. Keep, 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 keep nice, good tension on it. I know you've never done this before. <laughs> Is it a fish? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful oh, yeah. fish. Beautiful. Is it happy? They're all happy. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. So you guys have noticed a lot of today's success has come on certain one colors, but I find one of the most effective ways to become successful at fishing jigs, especially if you got multiple guys in the boat, is to just, if you look, we got a whole pile of wet jigs over here. We're just going through, grabbing every single one, and we stress it all the time when we make these videos, and when we were out here twitching in particular, color is important. The action is the most important part of fishing them, but just being versatile. You know, we came through here earlier this morning, filled the box full of fish, now we're coming back down here, having a little bit more trouble getting them to bite, but I think a lot of the time it's gonna be one, switching those presentations, and definitely switching that color, and getting those fish that you haven't already picked off with that certain color or that certain presentation. All right, everybody, well, we have had an absolutely gorgeous day. Comment below with what you guys think of this. I love this time of year. It's been so dreary and, we're, and rainy, and, but it's so nice to be able to come out here and enjoy some great weather, some great camaraderie, and some awesome fishing. We had to make a big change midday, but it really paid off for us. So we're gonna head back to the ramp. We're gonna get all these beautiful coho cut up. Then we're gonna head back to Cameron's house, and winter steelhead season is looming us here all over the country if you're a steelhead fisherman. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna talk a little bit different kind of egg here than we normally do. We're gonna cure up some of these, some of these awesome coho eggs that we got and try to do it more of a sense towards gearing towards winter steelhead. Head. So let's go back, get these things cut up, let's go get some curing going on. All right, back in here on the curing table now. And like we said before, we're gonna be curing these in the theory that we're gonna be using them for steelhead, in particular winter steelhead. If you're from the Northwest or even from the Great Lakes or anywhere in the world or steelhead, Steelhead like a little bit different style of cure than what we would do for like our salmon fishing, which you've seen in a lot of our tutorials and a lot of the different things on our page here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these eggs and we're gonna get them brined up in the theory again that we are gonna be casting them at steelhead. So the differences in that is gonna be, one, the amount of cure and the amount of the type of chemicals that you're gonna put on these eggs. When we go and use these for steelhead, we want a very, very natural egg. Basically, we wanna, in, in theory, just take and get these things cured so that they get a nice texture so they hold on to your hook well and you get a little bit different color. The texture and color is what is important here because one, you want them to be able to stay on. We're gonna be fishing these in really high water situations a lot of the time uh, and it's more about profile in my opinion for steelhead than it is <clears throat> the actual scent or anything like that. So I got two nice skeins of eggs here. You saw, I just kind of opened those up. Some people will butterfly them with a knife or scissors but I like to just take that skein pull it back apart, kind of pull it apart just like so, till that thing busts open and gives those berries a good exposure so that I can put some of that cure on there. And what we're gonna use here, I got a few different kinds of pro cure that we use for our steelhead. So we have our Fuse Steelhead Blend. This isn't the one I'm gonna use today, but this one works really, really good. I like this one a lot. It has a lot of different those bite stimulants and a lot of the different flavors, the newer cure that they've come out with. But what we're gonna use is one of the old school ones that Pro Cure makes, and that's the Steely Pink. You can see, basically, we're just going for that like Cherise pink color. This has, you see those, those stimulants, some of the, a le, little less nitrate, a little less salt, a little less sodium in these, this actual kind of cure, and that's what kind of makes it a steelhead cure. It's sweeter, and it's more about preserving and changing the color than it is actually making it really, really strong scent. So these things have a natural scent to begin with. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go a nice little coating. Very, very, very timid on this here. We're not gonna do much. Really just enough again to get that color. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of just normal table salt. 
And this kind of just more or less preserves the eggs, kind of pulls a little bit of that water out of them. Flip this over. Do just about the same thing to the back side. Nice little dusting. Just like that. Uh oh, I spilled the salt, so better throw some salt over the shoulder. That could be bad. You don't want to spill the salt while seasoning up your eggs here. That's a good way to catch no fish. So very, very small amount of salt once again. Roll them around. Get those things nice little coating here. Just enough to start getting soaked in and preserve that skein. Then the next step is a very important step. And this is really what makes these eggs the fishiest when using them for steelhead. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take some borax. And borax is just a preserving agent. It's basically just a salt in a way. Uh, it's a preserving salt and all that does is kind of preserves those eggs, locks in the moisture, and starts to harden them up and give them that consistency again of like, kind of like a gummy bear. So this is the, the fluorescent colored one. This one's kind of a pinkish orange. And then what you also have is just your typical borax and that's just the white powder. So what I'm gonna do here with this, and this is what's gonna really get them rocking. I'm gonna dump about a half a cup of this right into the bottom of that bag, just like so. Then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take one skein, dump it in there just like that. And then you're gonna cover the other end of it with another cup or so, or a half cup. And we're gonna shake this around. And what we want is for these eggs to almost have that really dry consistency. You don't want a lot of liquid inside that bag there. You want a nice dry consistency so that those eggs can start to preserve and let that borax start to really soak into it and uh, give it that really good tacky consistency. So I'm gonna add about another half a cup there. Really we're using about a cup or so or more of borax per each skein. So but that is looking just about perfect here. So what you start to see here, I'll we'll open this bag up so you can look, is you start to really get these wonderful, wonderful, see how that almost dries it out and it gets that powdery consistency right inside there. I'm gonna lay that back down in that powder. I'm gonna make sure to get a nice even coating on each side. And then I'm gonna roll that bad boy up and put it either in the fridge or the freezer. The nice part about that borax is it's a very, very good preservative for those eggs so that uh, if you do put them in the freezer, they're not really gonna get very much freezer burn on them and it's not gonna actually pop any of those berries. So I'm gonna open that up here. Roll that bad boy up just like this. Push some of that air out. And there you have it, you guys. Your perfect winter steelhead eggs. And those things are ready to go out and catch you some fish. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to go down here and give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below what you thought of this episode today. We really appreciate you guys watching these videos and supporting this awesome community that we have here at Addicted Fishing. If you guys want to see more videos just like this one, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn your bell on, smash a thumbs up, and be sure to interact with the video and drop a comment below and you could be the comment of the day just like this person right here. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. You stay fishy and we'll see you out there. Mm -hmm.